Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited because today I'm doing my very first haul. You know, I love makeup, I love fashion. I'm not the best at either, to be quite honest. I'm pretty basic when it comes to both. But regardless, I love clothes and girl, I don't have money to spend. So I don't know why sometimes I choose to go online and look at clothes as if I'm gonna just look at the clothes and not buy the clothes because I know damn well I'm gonna buy the clothes even if I don't have the money to buy the clothes. You know what I mean? That's what credit cards are for. That's a bad, I'm a bad influence. Only buy things with your credit card if you know you can pay off your credit card. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, follow your girl on Instagram, and comment below which item was your favorite. And I'll have everything linked down below, and I'll link the other things that I'm wearing with these items down below also. So if you're interested in anything, just check out my description box. But yes, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I got was this super cute little tank top. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is a light, light pink color, and it's very, very stretchy. It's like that ribbed material that's really thick and soft. I actually found these, and honestly, this is who is to blame for me even going on Forever 21 and looking. Whitney Simmons uploaded a video, I think it was like, some of her current favorite things or current favorite summer, whatever. I don't know, but she mentioned these tank tops. So I went on there just to get these tank tops and I ended up with like 20 things, but she was right. It's like the perfect, most comfortable little tank top. It fits really, really well, but it's great because the straps are adjustable and it's just really cute. I feel like you could wear it with leggings, like in an active wear kind of way. You could probably even work out in this, but you could also make it a cute little outfit with like some baggy boyfriend jeans. It's just super cute and comfy, so I absolutely love it. The next top is actually that same exact top, but in this green color. I'm a sucker for any type of fall color. So if it's like a burnt orange or this dark forest green or like a burgundy red, I love those kinds of colors. But I got the same exact top in this little green color. I love it. Again, the straps are adjustable. It's super stretchy. It fits perfect and like i said you can dress it down with some leggings you could even throw on a cute pair of jeans and some heels with this cute little summer hat like yes these were two good buys shout out to whitney simmons because she putting us on the good stuff okay the next thing i got was a very similar top to the last two but it is a razorback and it's just a little bit different so still kind of the same crop style but this one has a cute little V detail right here. It's the same ribbed, stretchy, thick material that the other two were. It's super cute and comfy, just like the other two, and I still feel like you can wear this um, dressed up or dressed down. Um, this one is white, so you can kind of see some little nipple action. I personally don't care, but if you care, you can throw on either a Razorback sports bra under this, or you can throw on those little nude pasties from Walmart, or just a regular bra and like make the straps cross in the back so that it gets covered, you know what I mean? But yes, another very cute casual top. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of activewear. When I was on the website just looking at other things, I was like, mm, let me just see what's in the activewear section. Again, as if I wasn't gonna buy shit. Of course, some things caught my eye. So the first sports bra I got is this cute purple one. It is a light lavender purple. It's so pretty. It's super comfortable and I love when sports bras have this thick ass band at the bottom. I love that. I feel like it just fits perfect and you feel very secure. It has these two straps, as you can see, and then in the back, it crosses and has a cute little design. I pretty much wear the same sports bras all the time, so I'm really excited to have some new colors with some new, like, cute strappy designs. Um, it does come with the little pads inside. I usually take them out, but they are there if you need them. But yes, yeah, super comfy. It's like a glove. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It's like really good quality love this one also love this color the next sports bra that i got was this one right here it's kind of similar um as far as the straps go but it's not the same sports bra this one is kind of like a mauvey red color this one's cuter on than it is like me holding it up it has this netting at the bottom and when it's just when i'm just holding it you can't really see how cute it is but when you put it on and like pull it down it looks like that and it's so cute 
I love it. And I love sports bras or just activewear tops that are longer than your regular sports bra. I wear very high-waisted leggings when I work out, and then I just like these to be a little bit longer so less of my torso is showing. I have a really long torso, so I like high, high-waisted leggings and longer sports bras, so like only this much of my torso is showing. But yes, also again with the double straps, and then the back kind of crisscrosses like the other one. This one also comes with the little padding in the bra. This one's super stretchy and comfortable. Love it. So as if I don't have enough black sports bras, but I couldn't resist because this one looks so different than any of the black sports bras that I already have. And I'm not gonna lie, I love colorful activewear. I don't really wear a lot of color in my normal life, but in sportswear I will. But I still love an all black workout outfit. And this one is one of the longer sports bras too. That's why I was really intrigued. I believe they had this one in other colors, but of course I got it in black. Um, so this is the front and it has that thick band, but it's really long. So I love that. And then the back is so cute. I don't know if you can see if I hold it up like this. The back has like a strap that goes up here. Um, it has these other crisscross thick straps here. This one is very, very soft and comfortable, but I will say it's not as stretchy. So like putting this one on and taking it off was kind of a struggle. I was kind of like, ugh. But, you know, I'm still gonna wear it because half my sports bras are like that anyway. <laughs> I love the way it looks on. It's a vibe with the all black leggings. Oh, and this one also has the padding in it too. Okay, and then the last little activewear piece that I got um, is this tank top right here. When I saw it, I wasn't sure if it was like a sports bra tank top or just like a tank top that you have to wear over a sports bra. So I love this color. Um, you could actually wear this like casually with jeans or something, but this is just not a color that I would wear casually. I would wear it to the gym, but really not in my regular life. But it's like this light blue color that's really pretty and it's very, very thick and stretchy, but it isn't tight enough or secure enough to wear without a sports bra if you're going to work out. If you're wearing this casually, you don't have to wear a bra with it, but if you're gonna be jumping or doing active things, definitely wear a sports bra under this because it is not tight or secure enough to hold everything in, but it is really cute on, really comfortable, and I love the length of it. It's that perfect length that like hits your high-waisted leggings, you know? Okay. The next thing I got is like probably one of my favorite items. It's such a vibe, you guys. I love it. I saw it and I was like, I'm getting this. I didn't even think twice. So it is this cute little bralette that's mustard yellow and it has a navy blue and cream colored stripe at the bottom. It is such a 70s vibe and I'm here for it. I love it so much and like, you know, nowadays you can wear this as a top and it's like not weird because bottoms are high-waisted. So I paired it, as you guys can see, with a pair of white high-waisted wide leg pants, which is, it's so 70s. But you could also wear this with like a pair of high-waisted distressed jeans. I love it, I absolutely love it. And I feel like you can dress it up or down. Like you can wear it with a cute pair of high-waisted pants and some heels or you can wear it with some tennis shoes and some like joggers. That'd be a vibe too. <gasps> I should have wore it with some joggers. I'll wear it like that next. Maybe I'll take a picture like that for the gram, but so cute, obsessed with this and so inexpensive. Okay, so this next top is so cute. I have never been a floral or girly girl type of girl. The fact that I'm wearing pink is like, what? And florals aren't my thing, prints aren't my thing, but prints are really in right now and this sounds so weird, but if I didn't have my tattoos, I probably wouldn't wear these floral printed things. I'm just not that girly. But I like the contrast of like the tattoos and a girly top or a super girly top and you grunge it up with like some utility boots or something like that. It's like the contrast of it all. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks like that. Anyways, look how cute this top is. Oh my gosh. I love where this top hits. It's the perfect length. It just shows a little bit of midriff, but it's like not too much and it doesn't overlap the pants. The bottom is like this stretchy material and then it has these cute little buttons down the front as well. And then it is like a deep V. It's just so cute. When my mom sees me wear this, she's gonna be like, who are you? But I think it's such a vibe. I love it. 
we're almost done you guys I forgot how much shit I bought until the package came but the next top you guys see is actually the one that I'm wearing right now I'll kind of stand up a little it is just this crop little light baby pink t-shirt that says Tokyo y'all if y'all knew how many things I have that say Tokyo it's just because I'm Japanese okay I've never been to Tokyo <laughs> I don't know who I think I am, but even though it is baby pink, which isn't my vibe, I love the red and black on it. I love just a basic crop top because you can pair it with leggings and some tennis shoes. You can wear it with some baggy distressed jeans, you know, like you can do so many different things with it. You could even wear it with some sweatpants on like a chill day like I'm doing right now. But yes, love this crop top. And then last but not least, I got another crop top that is also out of my element because it's of color. So it says paranoid on it and then it has some like Asian writing on it. I'm such a fake Asian because honestly I don't even know what language that is um, and I don't know what it says. I assume it says paranoid because that's what the English words say but I have not a clue. But I only got it because I was like I could get out of my comfort zone and wear a yellow crop. You can just wear this with like a cute pair of biker shorts and tennis shoes. Y'all know that's a vibe. I felt like I just needed a yellow shirt, so I got one. But yeah, that's all I got. Oh, oh my God, I forgot one thing. Hold on. I almost forgot. I didn't get all tops. So I got this cheetah print pink skirt. I've been looking for a skirt like this. I know um, a lot of websites have skirts like this now. It's like girly and edgy at the same time and I love it. So I've been on the hunt for a skirt like this and honestly there's so many I have my eye on. So many different ones. So many different ones. But I decided to buy this one first. It has a little tie right here and actually when I bought it I thought it was just going to be like a regular skirt which would have been fine, but it's kind of concerning when you're tall because if things aren't exactly long enough, then the cheeks are out. The cheeks are just out. You can't do anything about it. People are gonna see your cheeks. But then when I tried this on, I didn't realize it's actually shorts underneath. So nothing shows, everything stays put. So that's nice. And I just think there's so many different ways to wear this. You can dress it up and do like a heel heel or like a block heel or you can dress it down with like a graphic tee, like I said, and a pair of like tennis shoes or something. Super cute, I love. But yeah, that is everything that I got from Forever 21. I forgot to mention the size I got and everything, but I will have all of that down below in the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and comment below which little item that I got was your favorite. I think my favorite was either the little mustard yellow top or the red floral top. I think those were my two favorite. I really, really enjoyed making this video. I didn't think that I would ever do a haul on my channel because I'm just not that fashiony. Like I'm, I'm very basic. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Y'all, I'm kind of digging the blue background. I had the pink one for so long, which like, why? I love it. <laughs> okay, bye.